In this video, we will introduce Time Picker Part 2. Now let's implement our timer functionality. We will render the Time Picker component via Android Widget Time Picker and also in a dialog box via the Android App Time Picker dialog. We will also demonstrate how to set an hour and a minute in Time Picker component. Let's look at a basic example. Here I already have my Time Picker components. My label to display the time, my Time Picker, my button to change the time, and an integer for hour, minute, and the time dialog ID. Within my Add Listener On button, I've already set an on-click listener onto my button change time, which will open and show the dialog. I also have a method called set current time on view, which will implement. The first thing I'm going to do is get a handle to my label and my time picker. And I'm going to cast it to a text view. And I'm also going to get my time picker. Now I'm going to set the time. I'm going to use a calendar object and I'm going to get the instance and I'm going to get the hour. And I'm going to use the hour of day static field. Now I'm going to retrieve the minute. Now that I have my hour and minute, I'm going to set the current time into the text view. And I'm going to use a string builder. I'm going to append the hour and also a colon. I'm also going to be appending the minute. Now I'm going to set the current time into the time picker. And for that I'm going to call the method set current hour. And also set current minute. We can also take a look at the onCreate dialog method, which switches on the ID and creates a new time picker dialog. It passes in this as the context. It has a time picker listener, the hour and the minute. Here we are defining the time picker listener and initializing it with the listener. And as you can see, it does the exact same thing as set our current time. Now let's demonstrate our functionality. To run your app, you're going to right click on the project, select Run As, and then Android Application. I already have my emulator running and my app installed. Here we can see the time picker. The current time, we have our button to change the time, and we can see that it changed. This concludes our discussion of Time Picker Part 2.